Big Brim shit. Jazz team and Cav team, man. You know how we coming 1535 with this shit. The Deuce way. You don't know who I am. I'm Brim D-O-I-G, man. Big homie of the stain. Gas team shit. You know how we bumming. But first, you know what I'm saying? I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel, man. I appreciate the love. I appreciate y'all fucking with the kid. If you just subscribed, go and click that bell for you get notified every time a nigga drop a video. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we doing it for. Like I said before, though, I'm not really, I'm not really blogging on no shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't chase stories down and try to find something to talk about. If you catch my interest personally, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll drop a video on it. You know, that's the best motivation is, is to be genuinely interested in the shit you talking about. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I am on. That's what I'm on with this shit. You feel me? So the, the no cap situation, you know what I'm saying? Like the metal situation, that's all shit that I'm best in. No cap from right around the corner. You know what I'm saying? And I was following that drill shit. You feel me? So and in the story before that, I'm always going to be so way tied to the shit, you know what I'm saying, personally. So that's why I can get my input on it. That's why I feel like my input might be relevant to some people, you feel me? But what this video today is, what I'm on today, I had to make a video for the homies, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's on this Damu shit, on this red shit, man, you know what I'm talking about? Big B's and tall P's, you know how we bumming, you feel me? So, that how I'm, this one about that, you know what I'm saying? And, and what I wanted to do today is, I want to let niggas see or give niggas a real basic explanation without getting too deep off into the shit of the difference between a nigga that's blood and a nigga that's real right. You can be a blood without being real right. You can't be real right without being blood, though, if that makes sense to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you can be one without the other. You can't be, but you can't be real right if you ain't the best part of being blood. That's real blood. You know what I'm saying? And and I don't, if a nigga not real right, but you just ain't been exposed to that shit, then, you know what I'm saying? Nigga not really judging, saying you a fake ass nigga. Because I know niggas that are kill about this dumb old shit, and they not real right. Just because you've been banging this shit 15, 20 years don't make you real right. Just because you got put on when you was 10 years old, bro, and you studied, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you been to prison banging this shit, it still don't make you real right. Until you tuned in to the land, fool, and you don't have to even be tuned directly to the land, but you gonna until you tune some type of way, so you might know a nigga, you might know, you might bump into a homie or something that's from Memphis, and them niggas tap directly in, you know what I'm saying? You can be real right like that, because all you really need is to be tuned in and to get the proper information, to get the proper information, you know what I'm saying? It's so much bullshit, bro, you go to... You go to a prison, and I don't care what state it is, it's going to be bloods in every state, every state penitentiary, even Alaska. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be bloods in every one of them. If you go to a penitentiary anywhere around the country and you ask how this shit got started, I'm positive you'll get over 100 different answers. You know what I'm saying? You'll get over 100 different answers just because... Just cause how niggas bumming, you know what I'm saying? That's and but I mean, yo, Whoa. but you don't get a hundred different answers because niggas just is that it's that that um you know the little exercise motherfucker might have did when you was in elementary school where uh, the teacher made the class get in a row and they whisper something in the ear right here and by the time it make it to the other side it's something totally different. It's kind of like that. On the grand scale, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you got some niggas that'll just make up, well, same, make up a part and put in there. Take this out of there. Mix these two names up. So now you think this the nigga that started it, but really, that type of shit. So getting real right gonna kill all that. You gonna know exactly what the fuck going on. And once you get that information, you know what I'm saying, to your immediate circle, that's who you pass it down to. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, you don't just get that shit and go spread it. You know, I know this, I know how it really went down. Like, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? You get your information and you hold on to it and you breed your pups like that. You know what I'm saying? But being real right is being tapped in. It's knowing what's going on. Knowing your real history. Knowing who the members is that's active over there on the set right now. Knowing the members that's active on your set right now. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna be tuned in to the land and you ain't tuned in to where you at? You know what I'm saying? So, first of all, you wanna get your house straight together first. You know what I'm saying? Clean your house up first and then... Tap in. How to tap in? It's obvious. Is the answer not obvious? You know what I'm saying? Like the internet. Let me start this the internet. 
The internet, how you tap in. Social media, it's a million. YouTube, however. However you get in contact with a nigga. And, and how you run into a nigga, you got to be 100 with him. If that's what you really own, you really just trying to get tapped in. Let a nigga know that. And when you tell a nigga that, whatever the nigga tell you from that, if he got that information, then you got to be willing to do that. So if he say, shit, we are we out here in goddamn Seattle. You want to come out here, though. I don't do that shit on the internet. And if you serious, my nigga, you have to make that happen. Point blank period, my nigga. Ain't no way around that shit. Because this shit is serious. This ain't no shit that a nigga play with. When a nigga really trying to get into the military, nigga really to fly, put four months of his life in basic training to get signed up for that motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? This don't take all that, but whatever it do take, you need to be ready to do because it's that same type of level of dedication. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if, you know, you got some niggas out there, niggas doing different shit. Some niggas hustling, some niggas banging, banging on some going to war shit. Some niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to organize some shit and push positive shit. I mean, however a nigga blood die, as long as you stick it to the right principles and morals, my nigga, I salute you. But get tapped in, my nigga. Get tapped in. Ain't no sense of being part of a nationwide army, bro, and you ain't got access to none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what's going on. So, without too much details, you know what I'm saying? That's an overview of what being real right is. You know what I'm saying? You know your stain. You know your game. You know your set. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. You know the history of your set. If your set don't fuck with these niggas, you know that. That don't mean that you may not fuck with these same niggas down here wherever you at, but you still know that. You know what I'm saying? You still know that. Big brown shit, man. Y'all fuck with me, dog. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I'm on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with the kid. Brim D, big brown shit. No little shit. We got this big. Woo.